Let me read you scripture from Luke chapter 8. I want to read verses 24 and 25. The disciples went and woke him saying, Master, Master, we are going to drown. He got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters. The storm subsided and all was calm. Where is your faith? He asked his disciples. In fear and amazement, they ask one another, who is this? He commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him. We are looking at the storm. Yesterday, Jesus was asleep during the storm. And today, I want to ask this question. Why did the disciples panic during the storm when Jesus was asleep? Why do we, the disciples of today, also panic during crisis? When Jesus, the center of peace, would be calm in us and outside us. I want to say these are the things I believe were really at stake. One, the disciples were ignorant. And ignorance, because you don't understand, can cause you to panic. They did not know that the creator of wind and the water was in the boat. And often when crises are happening, like today, the presence of God completely disappears because our emotions take over. Our fear takes over. So they never knew that in that boat was the creator himself. He was sleeping. Secondly, they are looking at the circumstances. The raging water, the blowing storm, the wind, and everything else was all they were concerned about. And here it is, right in the middle of it, and I'm sure, as we know, these things were taking them by surprise. They were not prepared for this. But don't, don't, don't forget, guys like Peter and Andrew, his brother, John and James, these are seasoned fishermen. They were in the boat. They saw these things because they have, they have seen them before. And so the circumstances should not be our focus. It was their focus. Circumstances will come and we cannot avoid them. Storms will come and we cannot avoid them, but we should not focus on them. Instead, let's focus on Jesus Christ. I do believe that they tried. They tried throwing out water from the board and they were trying as much as they could. And at this point, the disciples were losing control. They could no longer control the situation. It was out of hand. And I knew these are things which many of us are, are panicking about. We just do not know how to handle the situation. And it is true. Let me tell you too that there is something else I believe Jesus wanted to draw out so that the disciples could, could learn. Don't you forget that at the beginning God gave Adam the authority to rule over fish, therefore water, over birds, therefore the air. And so the authority given to mankind is over the water and over the fish in the water. Now they will not understand this until the second Adam sleeping in that boat would help them to understand that they are so preciously given the authority to rule. But just imagine the stress. Imagine the anxiety. Imagine the fear. The fear of death that this, this man we are going through like today. We are stressed. We are anxious. And many of us are fearing death. And the death we cannot see. The death we cannot imagine where it is coming from. Same thing. And I can say the thing that now is going to help them to understand is when they called out, Master, Master, we are going to drown. Master, Master, we are going to drown. And he took charge of the situation. May God take charge of your situation. May God let you know that it is well with your soul. He took charge of the situation. And here we are going to see where things we are going to reveal to each one of us. It is this question. Who is this man? Who is this man that even the winds and the waves can listen to him and obey him? Who is he? Understanding who your creator is, understanding who Jesus is, will help you ride through the storms that you are going through now. Understanding that he is with you, right now with you, will help you ride through these storms. You may not understand a lot of it, but you understand him who knows what is going on. You may not even figure out how it will come to you or not come to you, how it will come to your neighborhood or not, but he knows. And so right now, 
fixed your eyes on Jesus. Who is this that even the winds and the waves can obey him? Who is this that even the virus must obey him? And so and when you have that faith, which he asked, where is your faith? It will help you to ride through these days of lockdown. It will help you to remain steady and firm. It will help you to have the calmness of your spirit and of your mind and will go through these things because you know he knows tomorrow. May he bless you today. May he keep you safe today. May he be with you today. Amen.